Good morning. morning. Welcome to St. Christopher's Episcopal Church. The Lord is risen. risen This is a special day for our congregation. Today we are blessing the new processional cross for St. Christopher's. It is a replica of the cross we once had, and we are so honored and delighted to be able to bless this cross and then process with it today. In your program on page two, there is a brief litany. And if you see words in bold, there are a handful of them. They are yours to say. The Lord be with you. you. Let us pray. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, our life, and our resurrection. Christ for us became obedient unto death even death on a cross. Let us pray. O gracious God, who in your mercy ordained that your son should suffer death on a cross of shame, we thank you that it has become for us the sign of his triumph and the banner of our salvation. And we pray that this cross may draw our hearts to him who leads us to the glory of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Gracious God, accept our offering of this cross, which we consecrate today, that in this generation and those to come, it may be a sign to us of our own rebirth and lead us into praise and worship through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In just a moment, our organist will offer a brief prelude for us. It is a time for us to quiet our minds and prepare our hearts for worship. Thank you. As you are able, please stand for our opening hymn, 
he is risen. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. There is one body and one spirit. There is one Lord, God, all of us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that we who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit, 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak to Cornelius and the other Gentiles. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. God. We will read Psalm 118 responsively by half verse. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy Let Israel now proclaim. His mercy the Lord is my strength and my song. And he has my salvation. There is a sound of exultation and victory. In the, the, the right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live. And the, words of the, Lord. the Lord has punished me sorely. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will walk the hands of the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He I will give thanks to you, for you answered me. And the same stone which the builders rejected. This is the Lord's doing. On this day, the Lord has acted. A reading from First Corinthians. I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received, in which also you stand, through which also you are being saved. If you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then I appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom 
are still alive. Through some have died, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we proclaim, and so you have come to believe. The word of the Lord. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory Glory to you, Lord Christ. Christ. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. But he has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. 
but go. Tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. And all that had been commanded them, they told briefly to those around Peter. And after Jesus himself sent out through them from east to west, the sacred and imperishable proclamation of eternal salvation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Please be seated. Our staff meeting last week was very hectic, as you might imagine. There were last minute details, missing details, and changing details all to be reckoned with. As we prepared to close the meeting and pray our way into Holy Week, our choir director shared a Facebook meme with us. Pilate says to Joseph of Arimathea, why are you giving your brand new burial tomb to Jesus of Nazareth? And Joseph replies, it's only for the weekend. <laughs> Today's gospel places us at the scene of that empty tomb. Through a character, perhaps an angel, the women learn that Jesus has been raised. And then they are given a commission, go and tell the others. Mark describes the women fleeing from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Terror, amazement, fear. Those words held my attention this week. I began to think about all of the out-of-this-world divine events these women had seen as they walked with Jesus. Miracles, healings, feedings, parables. They saw Lazarus walk out of a tomb alive. And yet, Mark says, this empty tomb caused them to flee from the scene. There is something quite different about this empty tomb. Jesus raised Lazarus from human death to human life. Lazarus was restored to the life he had. God raised Jesus from human death to resurrection life, life that is eternal. This empty tomb is the beginning of new life, new hope for all of us. It is a mic drop moment. He is risen. Go and tell the world. In the original written version of Mark's gospel, it ended with the passage we heard today, with the women running away, telling no one what they had seen or what they had heard. It was a powerful conclusion because it begged a rhetorical question for every one of us. If I was standing at that empty tomb, if I heard God's messenger say to me, go and tell the world, what would I do? Earlier this morning, we blessed a new processional cross for St. Christopher's. It is a replica of the cross that led this congregation into worship for many, many years. I chose Easter Day to reveal the cross because I believe it symbolizes our life at St. Christopher's. God is calling us to new life, to go and tell the world that Jesus the Christ is risen. As a congregation, St. Christopher's has walked forward in faith 
time and time again, and we are flourishing as we faithfully answer God's call. In a few moments, the same processional cross will lead us to the font, where we will baptize five people into the body of Christ. And this, too, is a sign of new life. For those being baptized, it is a new birth into the life of Christ, into the life of the church in every time and every place. For the church universal, there is new life. Each time we welcome one of God's own into the body of Christ, the church itself is renewed. And for all of us, there is new life as we affirm our own vow to do all in our power to support the newly baptized in their life in Christ. That is quite a commitment. Because to support the spiritual growth in life of these young people, we are committing ourselves to a St. Christopher's that is deeply rooted in youth ministry, in adult ministry, in worship, in service, and in leadership. There is new life when we acknowledge that we are not raising up a congregation for yesterday's calling or even the calling of this particular moment. We are raising up a congregation that will say yes to God's call on this Easter day and all those Easter days yet to come. A few days ago, we talked about Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter being like a triptych, a piece of art with three panels. Monday, Thursday's panel shows foot washing, a new commandment, the Garden of Gethsemane. Good Friday's panel is the cross. And Easter shows us an empty tomb, the pronouncement that Jesus is risen, and a commission to go and tell the world. We have walked through each of those panels this week, and now it is time to step back and look at the work in its totality. What is God's overarching message through his work? Like art, each of us will interpret God's work differently. For me, I see God's unconditional love for creation, for the broken person that I am. I see redemption offered freely for all creation across all time and all place. And I see new life, new hope, new joy. Christ came to reconcile creation to God. Through his death, resurrection, and ascension, new life is given to all of us, eternal life in Christ. Every day is Easter, in this life and in the life to come. Today, we stand at the empty tomb with the women who were first to find it. We, too, hear the pronouncement that Jesus is risen, and we, too, hear the commission, go and tell the world. We, too, feel the amazement and terror, for that rhetorical question is still hanging in the air. What will you do? with the good news. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia.
The candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. Who do you present? Nicholas Who do you present? Satan, Cyan, Sade, and Ari. Will you all be responsible for seeing that these children you present are brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help these children grow into the full stature of Christ? I will. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? I do. I do. do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We will. Let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe. the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? I will, with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all the people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will, with God's help. Let us now pray for these persons who are to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection 
from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection. Through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who hear are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Nicholas, are you first? Yes. All right. You ready? Can you lean your head over? Remember how you lean your head over? It's okay if he touches it too. Yep. Lean your head so ready? she can get the water in your head. Okay. Nicholas, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right, Ari, are you next? All right. Ari, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Zion, are you next? Zion, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is Zayden. Zayden, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right, sit down. Sit down. All right, so you can stand here. You're just tall enough. Okay, remember you put your hands right there. You can touch the water. It's okay. Sine. Sine. Sine, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good girl. Good job. We're do candles. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon these your servants the forgiveness of sin, and have raised them to new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Amen. All right. Zene. Zene, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. 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 All right, let me walk around. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. 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 You are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. 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 Remember when we talked about the light of Christ that's come to us? I want you to take these candles and remember every year on your baptism birthday that Christ is in you and the light of Christ has come to you. Ari, receive the light of Christ. Zion, receive the light of Christ. Nicholas, receive the light of Christ. Zayden, receive the light of Christ.
Let's welcome the newly baptized. Receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified. Proclaim his resurrection and share with us in his eternal priesthood. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Good morning. Good morning. That was awesome. <laughs> Welcome to St. Christopher's Episcopal Church on this amazing Easter day. It has been a beautiful day, and the Easter vigil last night was incredible, too. If you are visiting today with us, um, I would want you to know that all are welcome at our table. If it is your custom to receive communion, if you'll extend your hands in like form, then I will place a wafer there. If it is not your custom to receive communion and you would prefer to receive a priestly blessing, if you will cross your hands over your chest, that's an international symbol that says, I would like to have a blessing and I will be happy to do that. Are there any um, birthdays, anniversaries that we could celebrate today? Donna says it is 30 long years that we're celebrating. <laughs> I've asked for David's characterization, but I haven't heard it yet. <laughs> oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon these your servants that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
Amen. Happy anniversary and birthday. O oh God, our times are in your hands. Look with favor, we pray, on your servant Catherine as she begins another year. Grant that she may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen her trust in your goodness all the days of her life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. And then we're going to offer some prayers for Andy as he prepares for surgery this week. Gracious God, we ask your blessing upon Andy and all those who will be involved in his care over the next weeks. We ask especially for the medical team that will be part of his surgery and his aftercare. And we ask your blessing upon all those who will hold vigil with him as he is undergoing surgery. And we ask your patience for those who will be with him through the days of rehabilitation of his knee. We ask that as he goes through these days, there would be an, a, a palpable awareness of your presence in his life. All this we ask in your name. Amen. 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 Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself an offering and sacrifice to God.
hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who was sacrificed for us, and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our own redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, 
that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father. gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ.
As you are able, please stand for the prayer after communion. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with the spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. By God's grace, you have been saved. By God's grace, you have been healed. By God's grace, you have been made alive. By God's grace, you have been risen with Christ Jesus, seated with him in heavenly places. Go now with the assurance of God's grace upon your life. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you forever. Amen. Christ. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.